Hey guys, welcome back to the garden. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Blanca. So today's video, I have an orchid haul for you guys. I was at Crow Smith this weekend. They were having a spring orchid festival. It was so much fun. Um, so, so much fun. If you guys haven't seen that video, um, I uploaded two videos um, of that whole adventure uh the first the first video was um like the preview day it was a day that i got in to set up and i was able to give you guys like a sneak peek of the orchids that they had and then the other video was day one so lots and lots of fun you guys i mean i went there with Laz. we had a great time and saw some beautiful orchids brought some home did not go crazy because as you know i am having a little bit of a dilemma back here in my orchid section and I'm just walking while I talk because I have things to show you before I get to my haul. Um, so a little bit of a dilemma down here in my orchid section. I'm just getting way too much sun. Anything I put in there is going to fry. Um, right now my orchids in there are acclimating. So <sighs> little by little, um, they'll start to bloom, I hope. Um, I do have some Hoyas in bloom. So I'm going to walk in there and um, in a little bit um, after I show you some pretty blooms and before I start my haul. But I have to warn you. I have my little buddy here with me and um, hopefully he will cooperate. <laughs> he just got up from a nap, so I think it's a perfect time for me to come out here with him, um, see some pretty flowers and get some fresh air. <laughs> and it's not raining, um, huge thunderstorm last night. Yes, uh, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, all of us, we just got a ton of rain. Poor Fort Lauderdale got flooded. I hope everyone over there is, is safe and doing okay, but um, the rains have started and they've come in with a force. <laughs> so let me show you first of all, oh my gosh, one of the prettiest blooms right now in the garden. So this one you saw in that video, this was the, uh, the Cattleya Schilleriana and my own Cattleya Schilleriana is blooming. So I got her last year around the same time. At the same time they had the show um, last year, I think it was like even exactly the same day, like um, April 14th, you know, of 2022, I got her on a mount and like clockwork she is in bloom so i do have let's see i have one flower and i have another bud right here and then one bud that blasted so i was gonna get three flowers total um but you know what i am so happy with this one this catlia shilleriana is a dream you guys everybody that was there um this weekend i think walked away with one of these um you know they were on mounts uh, they were in bloom. They were gorgeous. I mean, look at that. Just spectacular. So happy to share this one with you. I am so happy she bloomed. So I did make the move. I moved these from my orchid section right before I started cutting everything down. And I think that these orchids, um, these Cattleyas like um, this, this area down here. This is where my gumbo limbo is, where they get um, bright light, but they do get shade. Because look at this. I have this other one, which is is gonna bloom for me also. The name of this one is erased because it was on this tag, I guess with marker, Sharpie, and it's and it's gone. Uh, but I'll try to see, and I did get it with um, Florida Orchid House. I'm gonna try to see the name in my in my, in my my previous videos to see if I find that when she blooms. But the Shuleriana is absolutely gorgeous. If you guys picked one up this weekend, oh, it's so pretty and it smells so good. So very excited to see that. Yesterday I came home and I, and I knew I had something in bud out here and I wasn't sure which one it was and then it surprised me that it was a Shilleriana. So anyway, um, let's see what else. I have an Oncidium back there that's fading. I see the flowers. Another Oncidium here that's hiding back there in bloom. <laughs> All right, so let me run really quick to the orchid section before I show you guys what I got. So uh, I did not go crazy. I mean, I spoke to lots of you guys this weekend and I told you guys the same thing that I told my channel is that I am being very, 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 very selective. Um, I am starting to already realize the orchids that I cannot grow. So as pretty and beautiful and fragrant and stunning as you are, if you, you know, if I know that I can't grow you, I am not gonna bring you home because it's just, for me, a waste and honestly, like I need to start thinking smarter of what I'm gonna be bringing out here. Um, so especially since I did this, since I cleaned out this area here, it's just way too much sun. So what I'm gonna start working on in the next few weeks is seeing what's in here that I can 
that I can attach um, on my palms and kind of give it a better home until this area. Well, the ones that I attach are gonna stay on the trees, obviously, but um, uh, this area, you know, needs to fill up again. Maybe all of these need to grow. Right now, I can't even think of their names, but, and then my two birds of paradise, hopefully they'll get tall enough where they will give lots of shade also to my orchids. But right now they're getting drilled, you guys. It's just terrible. So anyways, it looks pretty, but for my orchids, it just doesn't work. Let me see. So I do have Hoyas and I'm walking and look at his hands. He just walks along and he wants to touch everything, which is also why the fertilizing and all that stuff has pretty much stopped. Oh, look at you. I just saw this. Look, you see how he touches everything? <laughs> He's so cute. Oh my goodness, I just saw this banda with all these spikes. Oh man, I really, really hope that they don't blast. Because there's also been a problem with thrips here in the garden. And what are you? Hold on, let me just switch hands here really quick. Hey, puppy. Oh, this is my Ben's fragrance. Oh, and I love this one. This is my Ben's fragrance. Let me show you the tag. And you guys, three spikes. Should I move her? Should I leave her? I don't know. All right, so Ben's fragrance is in spike. And let's see. Hoyas. Look at this. My Hoyas are doing so good. They're really liking where I have them. Look at this one. This one is absolutely gorgeous. So where I have these Hoyas are under here. See this all, all this down, all this row, except with the exception of that Vanda that's in, um, that's in spike down there. And maybe a few others are all covered here under the sage shale. Shades. <laughs> I still can't see it. Under this sail shade, shade sail. Um, and they're doing, look at that. They love it. They're doing amazing. They're doing amazing, you guys. So I wanted to tell you that I was having a conversation with Chris um, from Ophi about the whole fertilizing thing and treating thing. And you know what? The baby's out here and he loves to touch everything. So this is Berkia and Bloom, Gandiflora, right over here in this little cage. He just loves to touch everything. So I need to figure out a way to fertilize um, with some natural products where it's gonna be not harmful for him. Um, now this one here is my uh, Japonica, my Sideria Japonica. This one is for Maggie, one of my subscribers. She's always asking for her. And look at this, my Sideria Japonica is in bloom. Oh my gosh. And it's one of the most fragrant orchids. It is just absolutely amazing. And you know what? I'm surprised that she's doing well on this driftwood because everything else aside from um, this little mini fowl is suffering a little bit but the Shadaria japonica is is doing good and this is the most flowers she's ever given me look at that she's got one two three four five flowers so super super fragrant <laughs> oh yeah i know he's like reaching behind me trying to grab everything but very very fragrant so very happy with that let's see what else Not in your mouth, in the no. Touches everything. Yeah, so I really need to figure out because he loves to be out here in the yard and just, if he sees a flower, he just dives to it. He comes out a lot out here also with my husband. So want to make sure everything is, you know, not toxic and all that. So look at these blooms on this one. This is a pretty one too. She's got a ton of blooms on her. But I can't, I can't reach her tag. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. I want to get to the hall, so let me get out of here. So one of the, um, I'm, I'm doing this haul prematurely, like before um, I actually wanted to, because I still have to pick up some orchids from Chris. We didn't fit in the car with all of my, um, oh, look at my maxillaries. 
with all of my um my crates for my candles and everything um we didn't fit so chris has um some orchids in his over there at ofi that i have to go pick up um but that one's gonna be easy for me to talk to you talk to you about because i already have them so anyway this is my maxillary tinifolia she's doing amazing Ah, oh, and smells just like coconut they had a huge one over at cool smith and this one is um getting pretty pretty big and then i've got this this other grammatophyllum and, and so let's see so yeah lots of these are going to be relocated you guys i'm going to see um maybe on sunday i made plans to kind of do like um like an orchid mounting day uh since saturday i do have a, sh a local show here not an orchid show but a local show here um with my candles so saturday i can't but sunday definitely i'm gonna mount some of those over here on my trees all right so let me show you what i got let's see so it's hard i'm not gonna tell you it wasn't it was hard to um contain myself from buying lots and lots of orchids and bringing them home but i do need to um like i said just focus on what grows well for me um see what i can mount and will look beautiful on my trees lots of bucks out this morning so let's see my chamberthia is still in bloom and look at the down the flora and that big gamatophyllum and then last but not least let me just show you really quick these were in bloom before i left and they're still looking beautiful these are some cat layers just growing here and there's four of them in total oh and my arachnus has a few blooms also just a baby. A baby. All right. Got some dendrobiums and spike. And my lychee tree back there out there is. Let me just walk there really quick. And one of my um, one of my excuse <laughs> me, one of my dragon fruit tree um plants is not doing hot, so hot i think the cold got to it but she's i don't know hopefully she'll be okay but look at all of these lychees i've got so many so many lychees on this tree so it's gonna be a fun it's gonna be a fun summer when we eat all the lychees and mangoes hopefully dragon fruit this is my dragon fruit tree i have to clean it up my plumerias oh look at my Look at this one. This is a facilatum. Look at those roots. Look at that spike. Can you guys see it good? Let me turn around. Facilatum and spike. And then I've got all of these purple fowls growing from my staghorn. So it looks nice. Oh, let me give you a different view of my cat layers. I'm walking my yard. Not my yard, but outside. Look at that. Love to see that. Love to see that. All right. And there's these two guys. Oof. Creepy. My dogs are going crazy because they're, I don't know what they're doing over there, but anyway. So getting over to where I have my orchid that I just got. So I wanted to do this haul after I picked up um, the other orchids from Chris, but one of them is about to fade because, let's see, I got it um, for my trees. Julian came up to me and told me that it was gonna be, it was gonna do amazing. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful flower, but let's see, it's kind of faded already. This is a, a hybrid between a walkeriana and a Catlia clandiae. The flower is beautiful, but you know, it's been, it's been in the hotel. It's been, it's been in the hotel. It's been in the car trip home. She's a little faded, but she's a beautiful, beautiful flower. A hybrid between a walkeriana, Catlia walkeriana and Catlia clandiae. So this one, um, Julian told me that it was going to be perfect for my palms. So it's going right on my palms the minute, the 
the minute that this one just fades, it's already on its way out. So I think today's gonna be the last day for her. But look at the size of the flower. And um, supposedly it blooms multiple times a year. It does amazing mounted. And um, it doesn't get bigger than this, but it does like grow, you know, like around. It's gonna wrap around really nicely around my palm is what he said. And if you guys are able to mount, supposedly this is a really, really good one. So if you're looking for a good cat layout for mounting, I recommend this one um, per Julian at Cruel Smith. So that's one of them. Uh, then I could not leave without getting one of these. This is a dendrobium. I showed it in my, in my first video. Um, just beautiful. It is a, also a hybrid. And let me show you the tag. But it's a I got a really, really big plant. This one's going also on my tree. Supposedly it does, it's gonna do really well. Now this one, I am going to, and look at all the buds. I am going to mount it upside down. And um, supposedly it's gonna do amazing. So let's see. Oh, I know baby. Oh, it's almost done. So it's a dendrobium for Mary with a dendrobium. Thrice florum. I hope I'm saying that right, but here's the, that's a tag. Really, really big one. Then I got with Brethren 10 dancing ladies. I had um, pre-ordered them. She had them for me. So I was able to get 10 dancing ladies and I'll show you what those look like. And then I got this beautiful white princess. I wanted this one for my collection so, so bad. And I think this is a tricolor because look at the pink, pink in the leaves. I know, baby. Almost done, bubble. So I got this one. And yeah, that is all I got. <laughs> aside from the baby. Aside from the 10 dancing ladies and the uh that um cat leia hybrid, I got um also um that pink, that white princess. Did I say pink princess? No, it's a white princess or a tricolor because I think it has all three. But yeah, I got a bunch of these. This is the Uncidium Sweet Sugars. I got um, 10 of them from Liz, uh, Brethren, Orchids, which are gonna go all around. So that was my haul. I told you guys I did not go crazy. Um, there will be another orchid show um, in May, which is a Redland Orchid show, which is gonna be, I'm expecting it for it to be amazing. Lots of vendors um, with lots of great orchids. So that's the next one. Um, for me at least. I'm not sure if there's anything going on um, like in Central or West, you know, Northwest Florida, I have no idea. Um, I think Venom, Vero Beach. I think Ten was telling me Vero Beach. So if you guys are in that area, um, there's one, I believe there's an orchid in Vero Beach. If not, May, a huge one, outdoors, food and spice park at Redlands. I'm not gonna be a vendor, but I will be there. Um, you know, maybe maybe friday maybe thursday i don't know yet so once it gets closer um, i'll probably know but anyways thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed all the footage from the shows hope you guys enjoyed this haul i will see you soon hopefully in the garden until then have a great one be safe and um thank you for watching bye-bye <laughs>